And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Howling Abyss. It's going to be our first deck today. It's Meme Tier Monday, our last day before we start focusing on ranking up to get to the uh, seasonal tournament. Um, we're going to have so we're going to have four very fun uh, viewer submitted donation decks and ideas here. This one is going to be a Freljord control deck where we want the games to go long and because we want uh, to be able to win the game with the Howling Abyss. So the longer the game, the better. And then whenever we get the Howling Abyss in play, round start, we start creating random level two champions. So that's awesome. Um, and so then with those level two champions that we make, uh, we're gonna have those take over the game, but we're also gonna be playing uh, Shurima for Siphoning Strike. Because with Siphoning Strike, if you get to kill um, a unit with the Siphoning Strike, then your allied champions everywhere get plus two plus two so each level two champion that we create will have plus two plus two with the help of siphoning strike and so that's going to be really cool and so that's how we're going to really be winning the game and so that's why we're playing like uh, champions like braum and trundle they just play very good defense and really help slow the game down because we want to have we want to have lots of turns because we want to be able to stay alive long enough to play howling abyss and then stay alive long enough to create lots of level two champions as well um, Sejuani also like can be used as like a removal spell, kind of with the Frostbite Vulnerable. Does a good job uh, keeping us alive and everything too. So those are going to be our champions that we're playing here. Um, you know, because you got to play Braum and Siphoning Strike together. That's a good combo. Uh, but besides that, we're going to also have like some area of effect damage for these aggro decks. We're going to have Blighter Ravine, Avalanche, Ice Shard, Slow Down Aggro. We'll have Tavern Keeper heal our Nexus. Um, you know, we got good blockers early, like Avros and Sentry, and Avros and Trapper making an Enraged Yeti, because we want to, uh, you know, stay alive and get to that late game. But then besides that, uh, other decks are going to be playing things like Atrocity and stuff like that, like where uh, they'll have really large units. So we're going to have two Flash Freeze and one Three Sisters that can make a Flash Freeze, and then also a Harsh Winds. So those kind of like big Overwhelm type stuff, we have some good frostbite against those kind of things and then finally like early on here we got predict because we want so ancient preparations isn't that great of a card but i'm playing it for the predict uh same with the chronomancer with the predict so that we can find howling abyss because we really want to find that card and then once we do have a howling abyss then we probably want to just find siphoning strikes so we can grow those so uh that's going to be our combo all right so let's go play our five games we're just playing them on over in normal since it's meme tier day today let's make sure those Prismatics are turned on because we got Prismatic Howling Abyss. <laughs> okay, the Blighted Ravine is in the Howling Abyss. See, there we go. That's good deck building. Looks like we're facing Ionia. It's Ionia Champs. All right, there's our Howling Abyss. I like it. Braum and Blighted Ravine both cost four, which is a little annoying. Like, where if this was Avalanche, I could play Avalanche into Braum. But if we play Braum first, then Blighter Ravine will deal damage to Braum, so that's kind of cool. You think I should call this the Siphoning Abyss? For the deck name instead of just the Howling Abyss? That would have been cool too. Alright, let's go Tavern Keeper. Just curve it. Tavern. Yeah, let's just curve the Tavern Keeper. Rely on you to keep us safe. Sure. So, like, the two damage to them isn't going to really matter. In case, for some reason. Is it adventure time, you guys? What do you hmm. say, Glow? Think about doing Flash Freeze here. Yeah, I think we're going to just Flash Freeze. This could be a waste of Flash Freeze. Could be a waste. Okay, I'm sorry, prediction. Sorry about that. Alright, cool. Got a Sharp Side out of their hand. I'm happy with getting Sharp Side out of their hand. Is it the Mustache? So we, we kept a 2-1 alive and killed a sharp side. I'm, I'm happy about that. Break 
their spirits and their swords. All right, Bladder Ravine, you're going to kill some stuff. Run them through. Hardly fair. <laughs> Guess we're going. Jarvan Shen did great yesterday. Yeah, we did really well with that deck. That's uh, definitely going to be a deck that I'm planning on playing for the um, for the seasonal tournament. Oh. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. So do I want to play Braum and Avaroz and Sentry? Or play Sejuani? Probably need to be able to go wide. These old eyes still see far and clear. I'm actually here. Yeah, we could go Tavern Keeper. Like, Tavern Keeper just gives me one blocker, but we do heal our Nexus for three. I kind of like having the two blockers. So I'm not really worried about direct damage. So I like having blockers. Safeguard our homes. It is easy. All right, let's pass turn for now. Not sure if we're going to be able to play the Howling Abyss or not. Let's see how they do. Let's see, you know, let's see what these last two cards are and everything. Because it's all about stabilizing, right? Like, once we stabilize, we're going to win this game. Like, the Howling Abyss is going to be more powerful than what my opponent's going to be doing. No one goes hungry. Ready the torches. So if I play the Howling Abyss and they have Rally, I lose. So I kind of can't do that. So I guess I just Tavern Keeper here and then hold up Ride Negation. Could also Siphoning Strike. That's enticing. Let's just try it. Hopefully it works. Give this Braum plus two plus two. Don't know what this last card is in their hand. Ah, it was a sharp sight. Okay, it didn't work. Yeah, because they only had just the one card. Um, I mean, Sejuani is a safer play. But I'd rather play Howling Abyss. Alright, let's jam it. It's meme tier day, right? Like, we're here to have fun. Oh, no. That card could be scary. That card could be scary. I'll be eight for Braum. Karma! Double Avalanche? Do not fear the shrouded path. I'll just go single Avalanche. And end the game. We didn't get to do too much cool stuff with Howling Abyss, assuming my opponent just concedes. And they, can, they can give my Braum vulnerable and challenge, and then I use Troll Chant.
Don't concede, opponent. Never concede. Never give up. Anything can happen. <laughs> Just leveled up, Ekarim. Prismatic champs. Siphoning strike. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. See, we just kill our opponents too fast. We should have. We need like a whole lot more life. Like, we need them to be at like 110 and me to be at 80. <laughs> you know. We have more fun. Oh well. All right, we still got to do our thing. Got to Howling Abyss. Avalanches and Blighter Ravines were really good. Two minutes. All right, we got Bilgewater with PNZ. Usually, you see Noxus with PNZ. All right, so Ishar takes down Teemo. So looks like a good hand, honestly. I think we're just gonna keep it. Our Siphoning Strike goes along with Trundle, right? Like those go together pretty well. And then we need stuff in the middle turns, like turn three, turn four, but we have the Chronomancer to help find something for turn three, turn four. Ouch. So that should be the, they should have the three, three. That's what I'm guessing. Jagged Butcher. Uh, I'm going to skip these. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. There's plenty of killing left. The dead don't need riches. That block there helps out Ishar, but I'll just take it this time. Alright, that ain't go so well. I need more runs. Don't touch it. I'll just pass for now. We don't really need to play either of these just to kill Crackshot Course. They're saving the spell mana for the Siphoning Strike's not the worst. Beam would have been a problem killing my trundle. Yeah, never know what hit him. I've got us covered. You got a problem? Hmm. I don't know. I'm scared for my trundle dying. Kill my trundle. Do something else. Okay, that doesn't kill trundle. So that's good. There's plenty of killing left. Okay. So we are going to start by casting Avalanche. Move down to four. So I either counter that or I play Blighter Ravine, which kills all their stuff, and I'm at four. I think I could... Like, the problem is, like, the I only have four pop caps, though, right? But it's all... 
that's where things could go wrong. I guess I go up to six. So going to six is good. Because they, they have no cards in hand. If they just draw burn spells, I have Ride Negation now for future burn spells. Alright, time to Siphoning Strike. Start growing these. So I know I'm not playing I'm not playing the trapper because I want to draw Howling Abyss and like Trapper puts the Enraged Yeti on top top of the deck and I don't want to draw Enraged Yeti. I want to draw Howling Abyss. Let's buff up our champs. Braum is pretty good with Siphoning Strike. Alright, I'm going to have them kill my Sentry because I want to draw a card. Because I want Howling Abyss. So we got to find Howling Abyss. I know. No, where's Howling Abyss? Go ahead. If I... Because if I counter stuff, they probably just concede. I don't want them to concede yet. Ugh. No Howling Abyss, skip. No, that that caused him. All right, two zero. These avalanches have been pretty good. Draven Ezreal. All right, this is definitely going to be the best deck that we have played so far. Draven Ezreal is a good, solid deck. Um, mulligan, 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 keep. So deciding to keep the Flash Freeze to be able to help out Trapper against Draven. It's just not a great Siphoning Strike matchup, because they have all the fast speed removal and they can respond with it. Nothing escapes my wife. Hey, Gelfki. Glad you're... Uh, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Um, so, I... Today is just going to be meme tier decks. I have, like, the schedule over here on the top left. Like, these are, like, the four decks that we're playing and everything. So, we won't be playing that Zoe really in Soul deck from, with Noxus from yesterday. But, yeah, that deck was really good. And um, it performed even better than, than the record indicated. The trap is set. Um... But with the stream, like, I, yeah, I, I basically kind of play um, all sorts of different decks from everywhere. Um, I, I'm i not one that usually plays, like, one deck very, uh, very frequently, like, the same deck very frequently. But I do agree that that deck was really cool. It can't be. And, um, and it was a really cool combo, too. I may play that again tomorrow. That could, that could be a good deck for tomorrow because starting tomorrow i need to focus on actually ranking up for qualifying for the seasonal tournament and that could be a good choice the zoe aurelian soul let's play this siphoning strike braum i mean it's not howling abyss but braum is 
Maybe the next Whisk. I mean, I guess they have, like, the things that kill the damage thing. Just skip. I just want Howling Abyss. Basically, two mana draw card. Safeguard our homes. Hey, buddy, what you doing? So I'm kind of expecting the 5-4 to die to Ravenous Flonk. Or something similar to that. So we need to find like other units to play to be able to block some treasure. Yep. <clears throat> but I just want to draw cards. Yuck. That didn't work out too well. Did not find blockers. I guess it was a little hasty. I mean, playing it right then. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Please don't have Captain Farron, because I can't handle Captain Farron. Of course, they have Captain Farron. Okay, seven eight Sedwani. That's not bad. Ah, uh, two three. I seen that like this was probably gonna be like a two two or a three two, and then an avalanche and get rid of it. It's a two three. Tough one to win. Bow to no one. Please, no stun. Let me attack. Of course, it's done. I know I could have ride negation the stun. I think that the ride negation is maybe a little bit more valuable, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Whatever the cost, leave no survivors. Down to five. The trolls are going to war. Still six cards over there. So yes, they they should have Noxian Guillotine. So this should be. Maybe not. 
I really wish I had one more mana I could use both of these. Yeah, I guess maybe I shouldn't have played the Trundle. I don't have enough mana for both of them. It's just all too many bur too many burn spells. All right, they got me. GGs. For kind of how that played out, I kind of feel like that's maybe not like that bad of a matchup because you know, like we had, you know, obviously a very poor turn four, turn five, turn six turn seven of just kind of doing of nothing on any of those turns um yeah that's a lot of turns of like nothing obviously i the especially the turn six is whenever i did the ice shard that obviously didn't uh work out if i yeah like i, I should have waited till they attacked the next turn and been able to block first and then like blocked and then done that that was just I, I don't know, I you know, I was drawing the two cards and I had six mana. I thought that like out of the two cards I'd like find find a blocker to play still. Find something else to play there on the turn six. And that, that was just a bad that was just a miscalculation. Alright. We got Karma and we got Zed. So we got a card that attacks a bunch and a control card. All right, gonna keep Howling Abyss. Whoa, luck, Fogic Gaming. What's up? Halfway to that meme tier one v one. Nice. I can learn from watching you. Hmm. I was thinking about taking that Avalanche, and now with seeing Spart Sparring Student. Kind of wish I would have taken that avalanche. Hang on, hey, yeah, I kind of wish I would have taken that avalanche. The from here. Let's move. Safeguard our homes. We do have ice shard. That should be pretty good. I am the blade in the darkness. Supposed to be here. And punch. I wonder what the karma's doing. Kill the sparring student right now. All right, doing this to try to kill Zed. The <laughs> there you go, trusty noodles. Good. Glad you see the way of gel hunters. These are Alright, so I like the avalanche draw in case they have more elusives like Greenglade Duo and stuff. With quiet steps, the dragon approaches. Yeah, they were trying to be like a real fast aggro deck. Use like, I guess, spells that make ephemerals and then put Claws of the Dragon in play. Yeah, and that's why we don't just, that's why you don't just like waste troll chant on saving a 2 2 when. You could have like a you know trundle that you need to save. Much, much more valuable card. Ionia speaks through me. 
Let us get going. I don't know, it may be nice just to have a flash freeze. Just in case. We can always rely on you it's a good, keep us safe. good spell to have. Yeah, this is Karma Zed. No, I was just about to play Howling Abyss. Ooh, playing some burn. So burn, we have a lot of good stuff against burn decks, but the problem with burn decks is that if they uh, if they aren't able to turn the corner and they don't kill us right away, right? Like they are going to conceive before we're able to do our cool combo stuff. All right, no Howling Abyss, no Siphoning Strike. I guess I take Trundle. I have my orders. The Avalanche would let me play that on turn, you know, turn earlier than Ravine. Everything's in place. So fourteen. This is a good one. So I could play. Supposed to be down to nine. I could play this troll chain and keep both of these things alive. I don't know if that's really that important. I could use it to save two damage. I guess, yeah, total three damage, right? Because I, I do the plus here, the minus there. Yeah, and then I'm just not going to Blighted Ravine. We save three, and then I just go Enrage Yeti, Tavern Keeper. All right, looks like we had a little bit of a connection issue, but we're, we're back. All right, so they have Fervor. If I lead with Trundle first and then they play Gangplank, that's kind of messy. I like just attacking. Let's see what happens. You can't do this. The trolls are going to war. Yeah, they. A little surprising they killed the elusive, but I guess they're thinking the saboteur can do one guaranteed point of damage. Explosives primed. Yeah, so we can, we can save three life with right of negation. Doesn't mean I probably have to like. I guess we. I don't really. The problem is I don't know what to do. Which version to use with right of negation. That's what I don't know. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Do I get rid of a mana gem or get rid of a unit? I have my orders. I guess it's a mana gem, but then I, I'm just not going to go to Ice Pillar. Everything's in place. They'll never see it coming. The hunter. They look angry. Let's talk about your death. So that'll save us that for life. Okay, that'll do. Because then we have all five of our things still alive. They only have a misfortune. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> all 
All right, so yeah, so we went 4-1. Um, we played against a lot of aggro decks, and that, you know, helped out with, like, our Avalanche. Like, Avalanche, Blighter, Ravine, Ice Shard were all awesome. Tavern Keeper was kind of, like, a little miss. I could see just going... I could see taking out a Tavern Keeper and playing just another Avalanche or Blighter, Ravine, honestly. Or maybe play, like, one Preservarium to get a little bit more card draw in or, or something else. Um, yeah, the, the three Tavern Keeper was a little heavy there. But yeah, we, we didn't get... Our deck was just kind of winning normally, and we didn't really get to Siphoning Strike Howling Abyss too much, unfortunately. But it was it was good. This deck definitely felt real. Like, the, the game that I lost, um, you know, I, I made some mistakes in that, that game that I lost. And, um, you know, against the Draven Ezreal, the the turn six, as we talked about, was definitely a mistake with using the Ice Shard when I did to, to kill the sentries. I should have waited till the next turn and blocked and then Ice Sharded and, and been able to get some blocking in. And, um, you know, that was that was one that looked like that I think that we could probably could have won also. See, I really think this deck felt like it was this could be viable for ranked, right? Like, you know, some sometimes the meme tier decks feel like they can be good enough for ranked. And this one did. This this one felt pretty solid. It really did. All right. So that's Howling Abyss. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck or other decks you want to see on the channel, anything else like that. Um, you know, always love to see those comments. But yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck. Uh, but we'll have to try, we're definitely going to try this one again. This is one that I really enjoy playing. Um, I, I really like playing Howling Abyss. I really like Siphoning Strike. Like these are cards that I really like. I like Braum. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing this deck again and, and, uh, trying it out again. And so we'll, we'll play it on over in ranked maybe right, you know, after the seasonal tournament. All right, but that's it here for the Howling Abyss. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next video.